Hello, I'm Joan Lemaire, the Senior Vice President of the Teachers' Federation. Local schools, local decisions is just one part of the O'Farrell government's plan to cut costs by slashing public sector positions, permanency, wages and working conditions. Last year they set up the Commission of Audit to review the costs and performance of the public service. It's no surprise that the Commission of Audit, advised by business people and bureaucrats, found performance in the public sector is far from excellent. The report makes it clear that all of the important decisions must be made at a very high level. This process of centralising control has started with the formation of nine clusters which group together all government departments, agencies and other bodies. After establishing highly centralised control through this process, the Commission of Audit recommends increasing the span of control across the cluster and delegating all of the responsibilities to lower management levels. This means local schools, local decisions will delegate responsibility, not decision making to schools. Delegating responsibility means delegating workload and blame. It will be the principal's responsibility to implement the decisions made on high, within budget and without the additional support currently available. In the 175 page report, there is almost no reference to public benefit. The focus is on costs, in particular the cost of public sector employees. The Commission of Audit says there are problems with the current industrial relations arrangements applying to the New South Wales public sector. These so-called problems identified in the report are that awards, industrial agreements and the Industrial Relations Act all place limits on managerial prerogative. In other words, they give public sector workers rights. In order to deal with the so-called problems, it is recommended that the government should make changes to the Industrial Relations Act to limit the matters which can be included in awards or pursued as disputes in the Industrial Relations Commission. In addition to capping wages at 2.5%, the report recommends a review of the Industrial Relations Act. So what does the Commission of Audit want taken out of awards and industrial agreements and removed from the oversight of the Industrial Relations Commission? All of the policies relating to workforce management, including staffing, security of employment and performance management. This recommendation suggests the need to remove any reference to staffing levels or rostering, overtime and staff ratios from industrial agreements. And this means that decisions about each of these matters will be made by managers, not through negotiations with unions. It will also mean that the Industrial Commission will not have any role in disputes about these matters. The commentary around this recommendation lists teacher to pupil ratios, police authorised strength, nurse to patient ratios and the number of firefighters and ambulance officers, all as matters which should be determined by managerial prerogative, not policy. The report specifically refers to kindergarten class size limits and states that these limits need to be applied flexibly and altered as needed to reflect changing circumstances or the emergence of new evidence or best practice. Presumably, they would argue that it is teacher quality, not class sizes which matter, so there's no need to maintain class sizes in K-2 of 20, 22 and 24. In terms of security of employment, the Commission of Audit notes that the Managing Excess Employees Policy does not cover the teaching service, health service or police and firefighters. It recommends that there should be a review with a view to extending the policy's coverage, if necessary. Already changes have been proposed in the Public Sector Employment and Management Bill, which will make it faster and simpler to terminate excess employees. If this legislation is passed, it would be easy to expand the policy to cover all of the other workers. It could apply to nominated transfers. The report suggests that appointing people 
to a particular job classification is too inflexible and they recommend decoupling positions from narrow classifications. What does this mean? They say it means that public sector employees would be appointed to a particular remuneration level with a list of skills. The employees would not own their position. They could be assigned to a range of duties within that remuneration level. The duties they are assigned could change over time and the employee would be unable to refuse a direction to take on new or varied duties within the remuneration level or they could even be asked to perform those duties at another workplace. This could mean that teachers could be required to teach in a range of positions and or between schools. The report also states that ineffective management of poor performance means that salary progression is regarded as a right in the public service. Again, they specifically re refer to teachers with a statement that teachers can progress from a salary of $57,000 to $82,000 over nine years without any real link to performance. We know this is wrong. However, local schools, local decisions states that salary progression will be based on attaining professional standards. Rebu reducing or abolishing incremental steps could mean major savings. The report suggests that salary progression could be the mechanism for recognising high or exceptional performance. In other words, only a very limited number of teachers may be able to progress beyond the base rate. The Commission of Audit report attacks and undermines the whole public sector. It provides recommendations which, if implemented, will slash public service jobs and undermine the working conditions and permanency of the remaining public sector employees. The Federation is working with other public sector unions and unions New South Wales to build our campaign against these attacks and to stop the recommendations becoming reality. Our salaries, staffing and security campaign is an essential part of this broader union campaign.